This is Uriga Leisa Vachivinga. I'm with my general professional manager. general manager, qualified in terms of civil engineering. But where we are here, don't forget this is Adonai Royal Garden Venture Park. Because when we talk of Royal, somebody should ask her or himself what does the term Royal mean? It is being royal and very big, powerful and understanding. Simanyo mchitegira. Tuliko Adonai Royal Gardens. With very many activities, by the way. I'm with the general manager here. Temubu uzaruache tulimumu sana. Don't ask. We are in an open space. In the background, this is the fish pond you have been asking. Mubade mubu uza mutebi Briani. Tunarabadi kubye nyanja. Tunarabadi evi dibabye evi nyanja. Babi simabatia. Bili na kubere mubu gazibu enkanachi. What space does it require to start the fish pond farming? The technician, the professional, the everything in engineering, if it is a construction of anything you desire, he's here. Sagala mumbuze bibuzo bingi nyo. Mulina kubibuzo no. But make sure if you are asking him to move the movie, you get a Yoruganda Tarumani. However much it is, you are Oh my, doctor. You are welcome to living in Gurukai, Jasa. Thank you so much. Where are we? Definitely at Adonai Royal Gardens Venture Park. Why is it called the Venture Park? So called the Venture Park. Uh, struck the leisure park mm -hmm. where the utmost desires of all our customers are highly fulfilled due to the series of activities that we offer in the same ground. At my back, you can see the strings lining in the space. And what's that? For doing what? The string. For, for putting clothes? No. You can't hang clothes on a dam, you know. <laughs> <laughs> now, on this string is what we do, what is called one of the activities, so called the zip lining. Zip lining. Zip lining. For most, for most people who are exposed enough in the field of, you know, tourism. You might, have, you might have seen anything of this kind maybe in Uganda, in Kenya, in Europe. But now at the moment as we talk, we have introduced it in Uganda. Nadonai Royal Gardens Venture Park. And it is only here? It's only here. The honestly. whole of Kampala is only here, honestly. Check it out and confirm me. Is it Kampala or the whole of the central region? Because it's nowhere in the central. Thank you so much. What's here? in the background here. I'll be jumpy. Let me clearly indicate this to these people. Mm -hmm. The string you're seeing behind me is what we use for carrying out one of the activities so-called the zip lining. We have another activity so-called the paintball. What's that? Uh, the paintball, I'll, I'll explain to you. And the third one, we have the, we have the close range target shooting. Whereby we use this. You have guns. We use this. Those are not guns. It's a what? They resemble guns, but they are not guns. Are they arrows? See, when you talk of a gun, we'll hit something different at a different angle. Okay. They appear as guns, but they are not guns. For target shooting. Yeah, for target shooting. These are, these are weapons that we use them for this activity, but they are not guns. Okay. Purpose, uh, purposely for, for, for the target shooting in this same ground. Uh, all the activities that you hear me mentioning in this ground comes out as a package. And we have several We have several uh, bonuses that we give to our, to, 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 to our customers. 
a package of an adult goes just at a, at, at a fee of 60,000 Uganda currency, inclusive of a well-grilled chicken and chips and a soft drink. A soft drink can be mineral water, a bottle of mineral water or soda. For you to enjoy all these packages that you hear me mentioning, all these activities. At that very 60,000? At only that very 60,000 shillings Uganda currency. Inclusive of a soft drink, can be soda or a mineral water and chip and chicken we offer it to our customers. Is it a promotion or it's what? No, or it's just an offer? Just that, that's how we are in Adonairo Gardens. Anyone who comes to us becomes part of us, becomes a brother in the business, becomes a sister in the business and that's how we move. Just anyone can afford whatever we offer. What type of fish do we have here? Well... Because we have seen I feel you. I feel you should turn out of bleak hango. You see, as an engineer, we use angles. Now I'm talking of oblique hango. You should twist at oblique hango and look at what you're pointing at. Behind you, we have an earthen fish pond, the heaviest of all in Nyanama. How big it is? The pond is 40 meters by 25 meters. 40 lengths? 40 is the length. Meters? Then 20. 20 width. meters, 25 meters 25. width. Yes. Every duty in Yanama. Almost like a dam. How do you access water? Uh, we have a main point of a main source, a main point of water, which is the core source of supply to this very pond. Uh, it has a spontaneous flow throughout the year. Does not mind about anything to do with the season. We know nothing about the season of our inlet supply to the pond. And uh, I feel I should put it clearly now to the public that no one should be scared or, or fearful to do the fish keeping. For it's one of the most important businesses around at hand that would fetch money to simplify all the necessities required at hand, like fees and the rest of the other things that we do. And there are only four keys at hand that would require one to have a fish pond. The first? The first is a pond. You must have a pond that you're seeing here. The second? The second one you must have a spontaneous, a continuous source of water that supplies which is pond, flowing. Which is flowing. The third? The third one, you should have fish itself in it. And last? Food, of course, we must feed them. What are the challenges? Well, the challenges that uh, I always face in this business, um, there are not so many. Uh, one of them is the fluctuation in the rate in the food market. There's a lot of fluctuation. Each season, each season speaks separately. January would speak of 2,000 a kilo of such a variety that I used to feed the fish. The next month may go high by 20 or 30 percent, addition to what I used to buy, which is a very big effect to me as a farmer. Uh, number two, uh, uh, in case you have poor security, this affects the business so much. Uh, Talk about security. How do you manage to tighten your security in an open space like this? Yet we have neighbors around. Well, much as we have neighbors around, we have estates around, as you can see, very poor estates around. Uh, strategically, you know where we are. We are within the city, we are seated in the city, and uh, uh, the only style that I apply in this business that gives me the efficient security for the safety of my business is I have, I have a series of security personnel that keeps alternating time after time. They work hourly with me. 
I time them hourly. For instance, if the first man in the morning works from morning up to midday, I give him a break. He has a family. He has to rest. From midday up to six, I engage a different security personnel. From six up to midnight, I know a, human, a, a normal human being must rest. From six, from six to, to midnight, the first one who worked in the morning addressed it already, replaces. And from six up to morning, the first one who worked in the evening comes back. comes back to conclude up to the morning. So they keep rotating peripherally. It's a peripheral chain link of move that keeps me in a very efficient security in my business that no one tampers with any of my fish, any of my poultry uh, uh, items. Anything around me is untouchable because of this peripheral chain link in my security style. More about the fish keeping, let me get back, more about the fish keeping. Whosoever fish like keeping fish, regardless of the space you have, Still we can do this business. There are several styles depending on, depending on the, the number of fish that you feel like keeping. Now the number of the fish that you feel like keeping will determine the space you have. Because the space you have is the determinant, is the determinant for the number of fish you want to be. For the number of fish you want because the, 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 the volume, the space you have will require us to construct what is de what's recommendable depending on the volume or the number of fish you need in your pond. So if you need a, a greater number of fish in the pond, then definitely you should have a spacious land. That would enable me as an engineer to verify and determine some of the core elements during the preliminaries. That would enable me to construct a spacious pond that would contain the volume, the capacity of fish that you feel like keeping. Now, our viewers, we have heard from him. For me, I know. And some of you, you might be knowing. But the question is, what do fish need in the fish pond? And what do they need? in the fish pond? Oh... A pond is a home for these animals, as you see. There's nowhere else they can live apart from where you see them. Just like human beings, anything wild is not recommendable in our environment. It's not. Anything wild must not be combined with the fish, must not be allowed to draw closer to the, to the pond because it will lead to the threat. It will be threatening the animals, the fish you see around. It will even be killing them. The reason why I asked that, some of them fail. One, for the water flow. Two, the environment around like the predators. Three, the consistency of water flow. Because as you told me and the viewers that you have the consistency of water flowing. Now where, from where water comes from, flowing to the fish pond, where does it flow? from the fish pond. Th thank you so much. Uh, technically, if you, if you do what is called the soil sample test, just a simple sample, soil sample test, meaning you will, you will, you will, you will have you, you will dig your trial holes to obtain the, to obtain the fresh soil. Uh, that should be taken to the engineering laboratory for a test. Is it just expensive? No, it's not expensive. But where is it accessed? Um, we do all these things. You're talking to the right person. That's why I'm asking. I personally handle this in the laboratory, engineering laboratory. We do this. 
uh, when the geometric medical investigation of the plot is done, which one of them is a soil sample test, such, such, a, such a, a spontaneous flow of water can easily be detected. There's what we call the pocket holes mm. in the subsoil. Yes. As, as, uh, in a moment you just try to dig from, 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 from two meters, one meter to two meters, you will, be, you will be able, depending on the nature of the soil, be it tested or before testing, you will be able to determine, you will be, you, 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 you'll be able to experience, or you will be able to experience what I'm calling the pocket holes. These pocket holes con contain some volume of water. These are, these are secret holes that get created in some open spaces according to the formation of the soil layers in the subsoil. Now at some point you find as rain keeps raining, as it keeps raining, soil itself gets loose, giving a easier, a easier penetration. The, the void in the soil widens. The more it rains, no compaction is done. Wider, why, the, the more the voids get widened, and the more water penetrates, in case it happens to find such a pocket hole in the subsoil, that water can be contained there. Not, not, not getting contained secretly uh, in the subsoil so that it may be there for good. It finds its way of flow, of release. In such, in the same way, the main water that is supplying the pond, you see here, as the doctor asked, where does it come from? What maintains it continuously, seasonally, without any stop in its flow, without any break in its flow? These are natural pockets that no one knows about it. It's beneath. These are secret po I mean, I mean w water pockets under the subsoil that anyone may access in case you happens to, to detect any leakage up on the ground level, you try to excavate any point where we find you, 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 have, you happens to find any, any water breeze. You happens to dig, you see it coming, you keep digging. This may give you a very good point of a constant flow of water that may supply your pond, if at all you feel like constructing a fish pond. Now the source of water becomes the, the core point in the construction of the pond, because it's the life of the fish. Even to remove it to the Mokola, but due to lack of knowledge, due to lack of information, due to lack of skills, Katia Sawin, Chovola Bantu or Russia, Bamung and the name Bagamba, and we are not a hundred percent. But still, we try all our level best to see that we present to you what you would desire. To know, because unemployment, it is a general crisis worldwide. As I said it before, is the manager of Adonai. But apart from being a manager, is a general manager in the professional. We are trying to explain such that if you are interested, if you are inspired. If you need help, if you need service provision regarding construction section, is the right person. And if it requires veterinary section in all livestock, if it comes to poultry, if it comes to here, I'm available. But what do we need? Some of you, you get disappointed and start posting nonsense. We are in the sunshine here, not because you are paying us, but just to inspire you in even a very small space where you can start such a project. The simplest and easiest way, by the way. It is in a town, in the heart of Kampala here, but you can see. The garden does not require to go to the land, to the lake, no. and hunt for fish. 
Now we kutulaba. And this goes to the people abroad. Mwabali ebuero. Start investing. Get where to put such an enterprise. Talk to him. Accept that. Gwebobo ya galo kujoku lambule uwo. Otubulile. Kasupesi kolina. Kasubulo kurundiru amwe bie nyanja. It is very easy. It is just a call away. Plus, the transport or the facilitation to reach where you need your site to be wasted. So, tuba gambe chintu chimu. Living agriculture is the source where you get whatever you need. 